Hi, I'm Dave Stork and this video is about preparing Active Directory for Exchange Server 2013 preview. I've already logged on this Windows Server 2012 member server um, as a member of the Schema Admins group and the Enterprise Admin group. I've started PowerShell as an admin and I'm importing the Server Manager module and installing AD tools. This is not needed when performing the preparations on the domain controller. The domain controller and the schema master in this case are in the same domain but on another server. Extract the exchange preview setup file by double clicking it. I am entering a temp directory and then pressing OK. I've sped this up but when this is finished and you enter in the uh, temp folder you'll see folders and lastly, the setup.exe. But most importantly, let's remember the path. Well, back in PowerShell, go to the path and perform setup.exe, prepare schema. And don't forget the I accept Exchange Server license terms. And you have to put a, uh, enter the setup.exe as shown here. Uh, the prepare schema does need a slash as does the I accept exchange server license terms. Okay. When entered, press return and the setup is starting the preparation of the active directory. Now setup is performing a schema update and it prepares the forest for exchange 2013 preview. The video time is sped up it will probably take several minutes real time, depending on the testing organization. Do not do this in a production organization as it is not supported. And in this case, with the preview version, it doesn't work. <coughs> so this takes several minutes, almost finished. And yes, completed and completed successfully. Well, next up, prepare Active Directory. In this case, you have to define the name of the organization, Exchange organization, normally first organization in previous versions. In this case, Exchange 2013 PR. As you can see, don't forget, I accept Exchange Server license terms. Otherwise, you get this warning. Okay, let's correct that. I accept Exchange license terms and press return. In this step, Setup will create organization units, security groups, and other objects within Active Directory relevant for Exchange 2013. Okay, it's preparing the organization, and it warns for an, when this step is um, finished that you cannot install any 27 or 2010 Exchange servers. Well, this setup is completed successfully. And lastly, we have to prepare domain. This has to be performed in every domain you want to place an Exchange 2013 server in or want to have mail-enabled users in. I'm using prepare all domains, as you can see, so that I won't have to do this in every domain. The domain-specific groups and objects are created in this step. And again, a prerequisite analysis, and then lastly, prepare domain progress. So, also this has been completed successfully and we're done. But how do we know for sure that this preparation was successful? Well, as you can see, check ADSI edit. I've already added several contacts via connect to as shown during this video. Okay, but first let's check schema. In the schema naming convention, uh, naming context, verify that the range upper property on ms-x-schema-version-pt is set to 15132. Well, we have to watch for that object. Um, while it's loading all the uh, different objects, so you have to scroll and wait a bit. Ah, there it is. 
right click properties and the value is we have to search for the value the range upper value and that's uh, about um, yeah there it is and it is 15132 so that's correct and the schema update has been performed successfully I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that second configuration in the configuration naming context we have to check the object version property um, and of the um, exchange organization in this case exchange 2013 PR and we have to check to properties and then object version and that has to be one five four four eight and as you can see that is correct so we can assume that the configuration also has been successfully applied and lastly we have to check the default naming context in the default naming context verify that the object version in the exchange on the exchange system objects container is set to one three two three six and as you can see that is the case Okay then, mind you, these values ca could change for the RTM version of Exchange 2013, but for now the pre-version all checks out. So now Active Directory is ready for its first Exchange 2013 preview server. Thank you for watching.